11 world's most amazing telescopes. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers comments. Fire God Gaming had this to say, OMG, I just discovered Channel Weird. You're a awesome channel. Keep it bro. Thanks for commenting Fire God Gaming. And don't forget to subscribe. Now, back to our video. Number 11, the Very Large Telescope, VLT. This telescope facility is located in the Atacama Desert in the northern region of Chile. The Very Large Telescope, or VLT, is actually made up of four separate telescopes that are used individually but can be combined in order to get a much higher resolution image. The first unit telescope didn't see first light until 1998, and the other telescopes followed soon after, making the VLT fully operational in 2000. For those of you that don't know, first light is just a term in astrology, which means the first time a telescope gets used. The VLT has managed to capture the first observations of the furthest known gamma ray burst to occur, the first direct image of an exoplanet, and tracking how individual stars moved around a supermassive black hole in the center of our universe. Number 10, the Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy. This wide field reflecting telescope can be found at the Paranal Observatory that is in Chile. The entire construction of this telescope took nine years and first began back in 2000. In terms of infrared wavelengths, it happens to be the largest telescope that observes the sky at near infrared wavelengths. This is made possible thanks to the VIR cam or the Vista Infrared Camera that has 67 million pixels and 16 special detectors for infrared lighting. It's said that there's currently a second generation instrument that is in the works, slated for installation in the next four years. Number nine, the Southern African Large Telescope. This optical telescope was built on the hilltop near the town of Sutherland in South Africa and it happens to be the largest telescope in the entirety of the Southern Hemisphere. The SALT telescope is made up of 91 mirrored hexagonal segments, the last of which were installed in May of 2005. This telescope helps scientists look at stars and galaxies and are way too far out in space to be seen by the naked eye, while also probing quasars. The partners for this telescope include Poland, the United Kingdom, Germany, New Zealand, the United States, and South Africa itself. Number eight, the Large Binocular Telescope. This optical telescope, abbreviated as LBT, was built in the Pinalino Mountains, located in the southeastern portion of Arizona, as part of the Mount Graham International Observatory. It's recognized as one of the most advanced optical telescopes in the whole world that works on a visible to near infrared wavelength. Construction workers first began building the telescope back in 1996 and completed the project back in 2004. However, the first light of the first primary mirror wasn't achieved until a year later, and the second primary mirror until 2006. It would take another two years for both mirrors to achieve first light together. The members of this project come from all different institutions throughout the world, such as Germany, Italy, and the United States. The telescope has survived not one, but two major forest fires. Number seven, the Hobby Eberly Telescope. Weighing an impressive 80 tons, the Hobby Eberly Telescope, or HET for short, is an aperture telescope that is measured at being 30 feet and was built in the Davis Mountains in West Texas. Construction on the telescope took three years, beginning in 1994 and ending in 1997. First light was achieved back in 1996, and since then it's been used to study our solar system from things such as stars and galaxies, to recently being upgraded to help find explanations for dark energy. The telescope is run by the University of Texas McDonald Observatory for a multitude of other universities such as Penn State and Stanford University. Number six, the Arecibo Observatory. This radio telescope can be found living in the municipality of Arecibo, Puerto Rico, where its construction was carried out from 1960 to 1963. The radio telescope that's measured at being a thousand feet long was the largest single aperture telescope, that is, until the telescope in China that was just recently completed took that title. For those scientists that wish to use the telescope in their research, they must submit a proposal Puzzle to do so, and it has to be approved by an independent scientific board. The telescope is used in three specific areas, radar astronomy, radio astronomy, and atmospheric science. Number five, the 500 meter aperture spherical telescope. It was back in 2011 that China began to construct what is now the largest radio telescope in all of the world. 
and the second largest single dish aperture. Abbreviated as FAST, the 500 meter aperture spherical telescope was completed earlier this year and was first put to the test just a couple months ago in September. Surprisingly, this concept was proposed way back in 1994 and wasn't approved until 2007 by the National Development and Reform Commission. Number four, the Subaru Telescope. Sitting just close to the summit of Moana Kea on the island of Hawaii is the Subaru Telescope that once held the record for the biggest monolithic primary mirror in the entire world until 2005. This telescope is classified as being a flagship telescope that is owned by the organization known as the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Thanks to an agreement between the University of Japan and the University of Hawaii that was sealed in 1986, construction of the telescope began in April of 1991, and it would be seven years later that it would finally be completed. This also happens to be the main search tool being used to look for Planet Nine. Number three, the DWM Keck Observatory Telescopes. Just like the telescope that was previously mentioned, the WMK Keck Observatory Telescopes are located at the Moana Kea Observatory on the island of Hawaii. The WM Keck Observatory Telescopes are situated at an elevation of 13,600 feet. Both telescopes of this astronomical observatory come equipped with a primary mirror that is measured at being 33 feet tall and are described as being the two most scientifically productive telescopes on Earth. The first telescope, the Keck 1, saw first light back in 1990 and eventually the Keck 2 saw first light on October 23, 1996 after the University of California and Lawrence Berkeley Labs received additional funding from the W.M. Keck Foundation. Number 2. The Grand Telescopio Canarias Also known as the Great Canary Telescope when translated, this reflecting telescope can be found residing on top of a volcanic peak on the island of La Palma at 2,267 meters above sea level, or 7,438 feet. The entire telescope took a tiring seven years to fully complete due to weather complications and having to transport the necessary equipment and materials to such a remote area. After spending a whopping 112 million pounds in 20 years of planning, the telescope's first light was finally achieved back in 2007. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comment section below something new that you learned and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. This astronomical interferometer of radio telescopes is comprised of a staggering 66 radio telescopes that are watching sub-millimeter and millimeter wavelengths. Abbreviated as ALMA, these telescopes happen to be a partnership between several countries that include Japan, Taiwan, Canada, Chile, South Korea, and the United States that cost a mind-numbing total of 1.4 billion US dollars. This makes it the most costly ground-based telescope that's fully operational. The ALMA can be located at an altitude of 16,597 feet in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile and first began to make scientific observations during the last half of 2011. It was also recently able to identify some of the earliest carbon smog to date. 